I got this request from M. Balslow here, a subscriber that wanted to use the assistance API to retrieve data from a third party source like an API. And he wanted to know if it would be possible to get the JSON, upload the file to OpenAI, and then simply return the path to the file to the assistance API for further processing, let's say using the code interpreter to do something with this third party data. So I set out and tried to fix this and yeah, let's see how this turned out. So I wasn't 100% sure what it meant, but I think it was something like this. At least that's what I thought about in my head. So let's say we have a third party API, let's say Alpha Vantage. This is like a free API where we can get finance data. So what I thought was like we can fetch this data, upload this retrieved data to the OpenAI retrieval system or RAG. And from that, we can kind of call upon the code interpreter to process the uploaded data. And then we have like, we give like a task based on our prompt. And then this task can be completed with the code interpreter and returned to us. So this we can do both in the terminal and in the playground. So we're going to take a look at both. And yeah, let's just get in to take a quick look at the code and then run it and see if we get any results. Like I said, the API we picked here was Alpha Vantage. You can get some stock market APIs. It kind of has a free tier so we can extract some values. We don't have many requests, but it's not uh, enough to test this. Uh, if we go over to our code here, we kind of set this up. You can see here is the function to get the... Uh, I know it says weekly data, but I changed it up to get some income statements. You can just look at the documentation. We set our API key here for uh, Alpha Vantage. We set our API key for OpenAI, right? And then we create this symbol here. So I want to catch some financial data from Apple. And we want to save that as a temporary file, right? And this file we want to upload to OpenAI. So we can, yeah, upload it to this RAG system, retrieval system they have in the assistance API. And the purpose we need to pick here is assistance, right? Uh, this is going to be a JSON file. That is uh, what we can get from this um, uh, free API anyway. It always returns like a JSON. And here we kind of create our assistant. So assistance create, we gave it just a name, finance data processor. Your assistant capable of fetching and processing finance data. So these are kind of the instructions, the system prompt. Yeah, we have to pick this model, GPT-4, and these are the tools we gave it. Uh, we gave it like a code interpreter and a retrieval. So we are not doing any function calling on the get weekly data function here. We are just gonna fetch that data with no function calling, right? And we're only gonna use these tools. And here is kind of the task we gave it. So. From the upload of JSON file, use code interpreter to find the average ratio between gross profit and total revenue of Apple. And we just want to print out the result. Uh, this is just a simple task it can do using the code interpreter by creating a Python script, right? And yeah, we're just going to remove the temporary file after it's been uploaded to OpenAI. And yeah, that is basically it. So I think we first we're going to try to run this with this specific task in the terminal and look at the results and then we're going to go over to the playground and run it there to see kind of the differences let's also print out this so we can kind of see the structure of the file we're going to upload right yeah and we have our task here and let's go to the terminal let's run subs2.py okay so you can kind of see straight off the bat here that we're gonna print out this what we returned here from the api so we have the symbol Apple, right? And here we can see annual reports. So we want gross profit and we want total revenue, right? And we want to find the ratio between this. Remember? So all the way down here. Now kind of this is running in the background. And hopefully we will get this average ratio over all these data sets. Okay, so here we have it. The average ratio between gross profit and total revenue for Apple based on the data provided in the annual reports is approximately 0 0.41, 0 0.41, right, or 0.415. And here you can see kind of the other responses from uh, the code interpreter. So this is just a re re return from that. 
So I think that proved it uh, works, right? So happy with that. But we can even see this better if we go to the um, uh, playground. Because I don't think Assistant API uh, supports streaming now of the code interpreter. So that would have been better, but I think that's coming. So we might do an update video on that. But let's head over to the playground, run it there, and then we can see this more visually, right? Here you can see I have selected our assistant, the data processor, right? And you can see it has the file here, the JSON file we fetched. So that's good. Now let's put in the same kind of assignment here and just click add and run. Because now we can kind of see code interpreter launching and streaming here. This is what we didn't see in the terminal. So you can see it loaded the uploaded files, annual reports. Since we're looking for gross profit and total revenue, it kind of talks about it, finds that data, good. And let's calculate the average. Yeah, perfect, that was quite quick. The average ratio between gross profit and total revenue of Apple was calculated uh, is, yeah, 0 for 1. Perfect, let's follow up with create uh, some kind of visual graph, right? So let's do create interesting visual trend graph on the ratio between gross profit and total revenue from the uploaded JSON file, okay? So let's try to get like a visual graph here. Okay, so we got something here. You can kind of see we have this ratio on the right here, right? And we have some dates. So it seems to be going upward. Let's ask what this means, right? So let's just ask, what does this graph indicate for Apple? Okay, so here you can see it comes up with some points. Uh, the ratio is essentially Apple's gross prof margin. A higher ratio indicates your higher margins, meaning Apple is retaining more profit from each dollar of revenue. A low ratio, so it's the opposite. Yeah, that's kind of what you would think, right? And you look at business health, investors look favorably unstable and increasing gross profit to revenue ratio. Might reflect good business health and potential for sustainable growth. All right, so we got something out of this, right? So, yeah, I, I think that's basically it. Uh, I kind of hope that this was kind of what you were looking for. Uh, so we kind of got the third-party API data, we uploaded it to OpenAI, and we kind of processed that data using the code interpreter. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in getting this code, uh, I'm going to upload it to the community GitHub. And yeah, if you really need it, just send me a mail and we can figure something out. But yeah, thanks for tuning in for this quick uh, subscriber request video. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with it, so thank you for the ID, and yeah, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for Wednesday's video.